good afternoon everyone actually i, I have not done any volume guarantee ventilation uh, i thank uh, shridhar sir for helping me in the presentation so what are the objectives of this uh, short presentation is so we'll just know what is volume guarantee ventilation which has been taught already in the uh, uh, yesterday and today how to set volume guarantee ventilation to the basic mode of ventilation what are the advantages of targeting tidal volume in uh, neonatal ventilation how to set in uh, volume guarantee ventilation and weaning and troubleshooting so volume guarantee ventilation is nothing but a pressure limited time cycle ventilation pressure limited that is we are setting the peak inspiratory pressure time cycle it's uh, we all, we set a it to cycle into expiration and the synchronized mode we know what are the synchronized modes like samv ac or sappv and psv are synchronized mode so the with that mode as a basic mode we add volume volume targeting to it so in a simple pressure control ventilation we uh, with the time uh, within with the set it and synchronization we achieve a tidal volume that is delivered to the baby we are not actually controlling the tidal volume based upon the changes in the lung mechanics the tidal volume delivered also changes but here we set a uh, we target a tidal volume and that target volume tidal volume is set on the ventilator the peak inspiratory pressure moves up and down or it scales up or comes down depending upon the change in the, in the lung mechanics to deliver the target to a tidal volume that is set the degree by which the peak varies within the set target uh, set range is determined by the exhaled tidal volume of the previous breath so the exhaled tidal volume of the previous breath is sensed by a uh, uh, sensor that is present at the y piece of the circuit and it is uh, my it is uh, sent into the microprocessor of the ventilator and that uh, the change the pip is altered for the next breath according to the change uh, according to the exhaled tidal volume that is sensed it is basically a pressure controlled ventilation with the tidal volume targeting added to it so uh, what are the advantages it allows for the changes in compliance there is reduction in the ventilator days acute complications like air leak and severe ivh are minimized long term complications like bpd and the periventricular leukoplasia are reduced mortality is less so the our preterms are already surfactant deficient they have structural immaturity of the lung and there is a cartilaginous chest wall so when there is a wide fluctuation in tidal volume when it is very large there is over distension again there is a surfactant inefficiency occurring when the tidal volume is less the alveoli tend to collapse we lose frc and this leads to atelectric trauma hypoxia and hypercarbia ensue and this results in the, the alteration of cerebral blood flow and long term complications so how do we set a uh, volume guarantee in our basic mode so the basic modes which can be uh, volume guaranteed are samv uh, sappv psv and cmv in uh, sappv and psv all the breaths that are uh, initiated or triggered by the baby will be supported by the ventilator so that these two will be ideal modes to add on a vg even you can add it with samv so the pip required to uh, reach the target volume for each triggered ventilation that is uh, ventilation inflation that is triggered by the baby will require a lesser pip because the baby is adding its effort to achieve the targeted tidal volume so the pip will be uh, uh, 4 cm about 4 cm micro cm water lesser than those breaths which are uh, which are uh, those inflations which are not triggered by the baby so triggered ventilations are better in samv and cmv there will be untriggered inflations also and the, the uh, and these two inflations are not volume targeted so how do we set a pip there are two uh, settings in pip one is the uh, average pip or the pip which uh, we set so the pip uh, in a pressure control ventilation say if you are choosing uh, 18 for a 2 kg baby with rds that will be the working pip or the average pip we set another pip which is for about 5 cm water more than the average pip so the pip will be allowed to scale up 
till what we have set as a p max and or it will come down as the compliance of the baby uh, baby's lung improves so that is the p max and the working pip or the average pip so when we set the p max too high if we if that is not needed or if there is a variation in the compliance that will not be sensed when the p max is set too low the, and the tidal volume requirement is high and it is not delivered it will go in for a low excel tidal volume alarm and if it is not monitored properly it may lead to atelectasis also so the work, uh, normally the working pip varies by plus or minus 3 cm water so we have kept it at 5 that will be okay so for triggered inflations the average pip uh, that is uh, that is generated will be low when compared to a non triggered infl inflations so tidal volume tidal volume we set a tidal volume of about 4 ml per kg for babies more than 1 kg and for uh, uh, babies less than 1 kg we set it at 5 ml this is because the sensor uh, occupies some space so uh, extra 1 ml per kg for tiny babies it's important uh, further adjustments will be based upon the PCO2 and uh, blood gases and the clinical condition of the baby. For RDS and diaphragmatic hernia, a 4 ml per kg tidal volume will be enough. Uh, TI for RDS, we all know it is a 3 time constant, 0.36. If it is set too short, we will not achieve a plateau on the pressure curve and uh, there can be a low tidal volume. The that there will not be enough time for the tidal volume targeted to be achieved. So, you will not have the uh, time to achieve the targeted tidal volume. If it is too long, there will be a longer time with the higher inflation. So, there is a leak for, uh, there is a chance for air leak. So, ventilator backup rate. So, backup rate, if there are too many inflations that are uh, not triggered by the baby, we have to set up a backup rate. A, higher backup rate, which will lead on to a higher average pip. If their uh, backup rate is low, it will be, it will promote more uh, triggered ventilations and the way we can be weaned off easily trigger sensitivity has to be set at the maximum to allow maximum synchronization uh, if the trigger sensitivity if, if uh, th there is a chance if there is rain outs or condensation can inappropriately uh, trigger breaths this could be avoided by using uh, heated humidified circuits Gas flow is around 6 to 8 ml is ideal. Again, like TI, gas flow, if it is not uh, adequate, will, will uh, the low tidal, uh, low tidal volume uh, uh, alarm goes on. Uh, so, adequate uh, flow is required to achieve the targeted tidal volume. So, PEEP is uh, to maintain FRC, ideal is uh, 5 centimeters of water. If set less, less than this, we may end up with regional atelectasis and sharing stress and trauma. Uh, successful ventilation, uh, TI should be appropriate, glass flow should be appropriate, we should uh, ensure an optimal PEEP and uh, the plateau should, there should be a plateau on the pressure wave, uh, a, sh a small plateau should be there. So, PMAX should be well above the working PIP. So, weaning, uh, PIP will be automatically weaned. That is the major advantage of the PIP, uh, of the volume guarantee ventilation. Suppose the baby's uh, compliance is improving, there will be a natural reduction, gradual reduction in the PIP by itself. So, we are not going to alter the PIP. Uh, in uh, SIPPV mode, the rate will be controlled by the baby. If the baby's has, uh, spontaneous rate is uh, very good, we might need to reduce the uh, uh, rate that we have, backup rate that we are setting up. Uh, FIO2 needs to be altered based on the baby's uh, con general condition. Tidal volume needs to be adjusted. If it is too high, the respite drive will be reduced because of over distension. Uh, sedation is not a uh, good one for. Uh, uh, this mode setting the uh, tidal if the set uh, tidal volume is uh, uh, very low and the baby is generating a higher uh, pip than what we have set then it's time for extubation it will be like an uh, et and cpap together so extubation when the pip is less than 12 uh, we have to consider uh, extubation tidal volume if it is going below 4 ml per kg it's time to uh, extubate the baby FAO2 requirement is coming down. We'll 
So troubleshooting will get that low tidal volume alarm when the set P max is not high enough, when the TI and gas flow are low, when there is a, if you are inflating for longer time and there is a ET leak which is enlarging or increasing, uh, baby is crying and uh, trying to cough and there will be splinting of abdominal muscles. That time also a higher people will be generated. Uh, worsening lung pathology, air leaks, we have to monitor the baby and, uh, at that time and identify the pathology. ET kinking or slipping into the uh, right bronchus can also. So, this graph shows the short, uh, short TI where there is a small peak and the inflation is not sustained. This is a too long too long TA. This is a baby splinting and there is a higher tidal volume that is generated. Thank you, sir. Thank you.